A 54-year-old man had surgery to remove a lipoma, a fatty tumor on his back. If you ever had one of these, you know what I'm talking about. If you never have, we'll talk about it in a moment. They removed it. This was actually found in the World Journal for Plastic Surgery, one of the largest ones ever recorded. A 31 pound fatty tumor removed from a guy's back. They used the skin over the tumor to layer back around once they removed the 31 pound mass. It's like carrying a 30 pound backpack around every day. My goodness, the human body is incredible. What is a lipoma? Have you ever heard of one before? Maybe you have one, maybe your pet has. Maybe you know what this is, maybe you don't, but I wanna give you some natural solutions of how you can go about addressing lipomas that impact millions of people worldwide and how you can start to naturally start to get those under control so you don't have to go through a surgery. More importantly, they don't impact blood flow or any kind of damage to the system that could create a more serious issue over time. Of course, if you're unaware what the actual issue might be or what the lump might be, always take precautions, seek medical advice to get it. But assuming it's movable and it doesn't hurt, and it's probably a lipoma. So just reviewing that, a fatty lipoma is composed of fat cells. It kind of feels like a lump of dough underneath your skin. They move really easily. When pressed just lightly, they kind of they shift around. They typically don't cause pain and they're not tender to the touch. So that's the good sign of them. It can be a little discomforting at times, you know, depending on where it is. And it usually develops over joints, right? If they do grow too big and they grow around joints, they can restrict your movement, certainly. But how they come about, there's a genetic predisposition sometimes. I don't like to play that card because then it just means I can't do anything about it. When I believe you can do a lot to heal your body, regardless of the genetic makeup that you have. Trauma will instigate these areas. So if it's an ankle or a wrist or a knee, now these are different than a ganglion cyst that we oftentimes see on the wrist. Those are much more firm and hard and not as movable, okay? but they can oftentimes happen. Maybe you took a hit somewhere or some kind of trauma can stimulate this fatty tumor growth. Other things that lead to it, obesity does not help the problem. Alcoholism and damaging the liver, fatty liver is associated with fatty tumors, lipomas in the body, as well as glucose intolerance. The more sugar in the system, I've had a lot of people that will start to lower their glucose levels, lower their blood sugar levels, clear out their liver, and the lipomas decrease in size or clear up. More on that in a moment. What can you actually put on the lipoma itself that is natural, that doesn't involve you going for surgery or having to take some kind of harmful substance or putting something harmful on your skin, here's three great remedies to try on the skin to help you out. Number one is a blend of frankincense combined with castor oil. Now, instead of castor, you could use coconut. What I do love about coconut is it helps stimulate blood flow to an area, but castor oil can really penetrate the skin. And it has a high dose of ricinolytic acid, which has anti-tumor properties to it. So as you massage this into the skin, that castor oil can really work its way down into that tumor and help to fight off that area with the properties that it has with that high amount of acid. Combining castor with other nutrients helps them get deeper into the system, which then you could use the oil of frankincense. So you just put a few drops of frankincense in with a little bit of the castor oil, enough to be rubbed into the area of your skin. Frankincense is high in boswellic acid, which also has anti-tumor properties to it as well. And that frankincense oil is a great anti-inflammatory to bring down the size of the lump, especially if they're inflamed around it. So that first blend might be the one you wanna try if you have those readily available, maybe at home already, or can easily get them. Second one, neem oil combined with flax. Neem also exhibits an anti-tumeric effect when applied to the body. It has an anti-obesity effect, which means it's going to reduce the amount of fatty tissue in the area that it's applied to. No, you can't just rub this on your belly and it gets rid of fat, <laughs> but it will help that accumulation of fat cells in areas where it shouldn't be to aid the body in dispersing it and getting rid of it. Flax oil is an easy one that's readily available. It's a great anti-inflammatory. So putting them on this area where they're oftentimes inflamed, especially if it's associated with high levels of insulin or, or high levels of damage due to trauma around Around that lipoma can really make a difference. So you can make this by mixing one teaspoon of flax with two to three tablespoons of neem, putting in a little container, mixing that around. That will keep as long as you don't allow it to get too hot because that could damage the flaxseed oil. But you can keep that in a little container, really easy to apply, maybe at nighttime before bed, where you're just rubbing it into that area, maybe putting it on a shirt or putting on, you know, covering the area and then heading to bed. 
Number three might be my favorite, neem combined with turmeric. So you get all the benefits of neem, it's anti-tumor effect, it's anti-obesity effect, but then you combine it with one of nature's most powerful anti-inflammatories. Now, when you mix turmeric powder in with this, it's gonna create more of an orange tint to it. So you wanna be very careful on applying it. I would recommend when you blend these two together, you use a bandage over the area so it doesn't ruin any of your clothes or ruin any of your bedding. But the curcumin amount that's found inside of turmeric is very good anti-inflammatory. It has anti-tumor properties to it. It also can help with infectious skin conditions. So very good for the skin overall. I think it's an easy one to try. And you can combine any of these. You could combine the turmeric with coconut. You could combine the turmeric with castor. You can mix and match here a little bit, but this is one of my favorite blends. All you gotta do is mix a few drops of neem oil. It only takes a few drops with some turmeric powder to make a paste. And you put that paste on, be sure to put a bandage over it and maybe you know cover it with clothing before bedtime. So three easy topical remedies you can get your hands on, experiment with and try, have to have patience, you need to do this over a period of time. I would give it a good 30 days to see if there's any tumor changes for the area where you have the lipoma and to really accelerate the process, helping your liver, removing the alcohol, and lowering the insulin resistance can really make a big difference internally as you fight this fatty buildup. So if you need help with those areas, I put this training right here for you to help you to lower insulin quickly inside of your body and start burning off fat, which ultimately is going to help clear out the liver as well. Check out this next video.